Hi, my name's Sue Ellum and I'm a tarot reader and I have been for 25 years. And the deck I'm using are Mythic Tarot, which are based on Greek mythology. And I'm Carrie Bellino, intuitive Reiki master teacher and spiritual life coach. And uh, for those of you just tuning into this one for the first time, Sue and I came up with a whole bunch of words, um, nouns and emotional uh, descriptive words, and I have them in a bucket. And I pull out a word and neither of us know what I'm gonna pull out and I'll say the word. And then we tap into our intuitive guidance to um, see where it takes us for your, for your message for today. So the, the word I picked today is deception, uh -huh. deception. And you know, how appropriate is that here in, the, well, I guess pretty much all over the world, but a lot of the states and a lot of what you're dealing with too, I'm sure in the UK yeah, um, feels like deception. And so it is such a contentious point right now, especially politically. And, and the first thing that I'm feeling is that um, we won't ever necessarily know the truth, especially in the very near future, like this week, this month, next month. So it, it's best if we all just stop looking for the truth. It's best if we stop pointing fingers at being deceived because everyone is being deceived at some level on, in some structure. We are all being deceived, have been deceived for decades, if not millennia. And that has been by design we have bought into this deception as a collective so that we could experience it and feel what it feels like and then bust out of it. So my advice that's coming through, the guidance that is coming through is please do not spend any emotional energy decoding or figuring out what the deception is out there. All you can do is live in the truth of what resonates with you. This feels like truth to me. This feels like something that resonates with me, meaning it feels right. You're hearing, your heart loves it. It feels like it supports you and your belief system. Therefore, it is yours. And try not to go down rabbit holes with the deception because you won't, it's just a rabbit hole. You, we won't find out the truth. All you can do is worry about feeling your best right now and feeling connected to the people that make you feel your best and living that in every now moment. I feel like there might be more after you take the direction, Sue, but we shall, we'll, we'll see. I must say, I've just, I've just recently watched the Netflix film, The Social Dilemma. I haven't watched it and I won't watch it. How was it? It's probably a lot of what you, um, it's a lot of what I knew, but it even goes deeper than that. Uh, the manipulation of people. Yep, lots of rabbit holes. Absolutely, like lots of rabbit holes. And it's very, it's very enlightening to exactly how manipulated we are on social media, how we are made to believe in things that, um, yeah, it, 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 you know, it's very interesting. And that's all about deception. Okay, let's see what the cards hold. Some of what you're saying, actually, you know, this is the King of Cups, and it's about this is a counselor, the healer, uh, that are very good at helping other people, 
um, or giving other people your opinions, but you're not very good at accepting other people's opinions and help. So it's very much when we are deceived, we then wholeheartedly believe that deception and we feel that we have to recruit other people to save them. And a lot of this is through love, you know, so you will bully your brother, your sister, um, et cetera, to try and get them to op open their eyes to the truth. Um, but what you haven't realized is you've actually been, been manipulated by a, a few steps along the way. Um, so that, that truth becomes your norm. And when you started the path, from the beginning of the path to the end of the path, you wouldn't believe where you'd come come from. But when it's baby, baby steps along the way, um, a, like a little bit of um, kind of deception of dropped here and somebody deceiving you there, there's a, there's a gradual path you go along, which feels quite normal um, because it's not a, it's not a kind of sudden mind blowing experience that's happened. It's just gradually, you know, you start off, well, John and Jane are neighbors. And then somebody will say, well, Jane was looking at Johnny in a slightly different way. And so then you think, well, Jane and Johnny might be having an affair. And then, then, then Johnny didn't talk to Jane as he went out the door. So maybe that affair's over. Um, and what about their, their husbands and wives? And, and by the time you've got to the end of it, you're kind of, you, you kind of thinking that, oh, well, they're, they're going to run off together or, or whatever. But the truth is that Johnny was looking at Jane a bit strangely because she just said something that you didn't hear, which made you think, what? Okay. And there was nothing about any personal relationship, but you've just jumped from that, that one look and have created a whole story. And then if you're into gossip or whatever, you might have, other people are talking about it and it can ruin lives. And it's just because somebody saw somebody give somebody a look and they don't know why they gave them the look, but they're just jumping to, and this is where deception starts. You know, the, the belief in gossip, the belief in things outside of ourselves. And so this is where we have to put our heart, bring our hearts out. This is because we get very vulnerable when we're deceived because we then um, are open to all sorts of manipulation. And this is the, the king of cups is like a is there's quite a lot of vulnerability about it because they, they, it's all about the heart and sometimes the work they do. You've, and, you know, there are people that do work and they deceive you as well. There's many times I've heard of spiritual leaders actually deceiving people, cult leaders. They, 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 they deceive people. Look at Waco, you know. Um, and it's all this kind of... Um, what what I'm being shown is like um, a ball of wool, which has all been unraveled. And it's, you know, it's like um, it, it's just so tangled that you don't know where the end is. You just can't find the end. It's in there somewhere or, or, or the beginning. You just can't. You don't know who started it. This is a this is a problem with it. Sometimes it's an innocent. Oh, we looked at her in a strange way. I'm sure there's something going on there. That could be quite an innocent um, observation you say to a friend, and then that friend unfortunately mentions it to somebody else, and then it's like Chinese whispers. But there are there are people that are knowingly and willingly trying to get you think to think one way rather than another. And though we can say, "Oh, I would never believe that. I would never, you know, go that way. I'm not that gullible." Believe you me, we all are. I know that sometimes people can say things and they say them in such a way that that I will believe them. And, you know, and I'm quite tuned into people, but people, some people have got that kind of, there's a logic about it. If you've ever been on a, a, a call, a con man on a call, and suddenly you find yourself giving them your details, 
because they've been so believable. And then afterwards you think, what on earth did I do? But because they're so believable, you just don't, uh, it, it, it just becomes, well, obviously that's the case, you know. So be aware and always go back to your heart. And as Carrie said earlier, listen to how you feel about it. Does it make you feel good? Or as in the case of con men and things, do they make you feel uncomfortable? Is there something in there? In, in, because if you listen to what your body is telling you, it will give you the clues. Um, but you have to listen and not just, and this goes back to a message we keep coming up with, your strength, in your internal strength. It goes back to you being internally strong and not just believing everything you hear from the outside. It's important, the Empress card, it's important to nurture yourself and other people. So if there, even if you hear something which is going to have a detrimental effect on someone else, don't say anything. Don't gossip. Don't tell people things that could, that could spiral out of control. You know, if something is burdening you, then talk about it with a friend you can trust and you know it will go no further. Then you can actually get past that energy and kind of um, filter it and your friend will come back with something that kind of um, will maybe also dissipate it because they have another view of it. And then you can let go of it. But, but don't, but, but make your life about nurturing people, about starting new projects, doing new things, looking at your own earth mother and looking at your own life and doing the best you can for everybody, um, whoever they are, if you agree with them or not. And by staying like strong and stable, that will help you um, uh, kind of armor yourself against deception because you'll have this automatic, um, you'll have this automatic way of doing, of saying like, well, I'm not just going to believe everything I hear. I'm going to listen, and then I'm going to go by myself and and see how my body feels. I'm not going to react straight away. I am going to take time to, to take that into myself and say, do I really believe this or not? And then you can come up with a much better idea of whether it, it can become part of your truth or not. So it is by just being slower and making it a habit, not just to believe and spurt out what you've just heard. Give it time to settle. Give it time just to listen to yourself and say, is this something that, you know, the person that's telling me, you know, they might not um, have originated that, they probably haven't, and they could have come from being deceived themselves. So it's not about the person that's told you, they're just passing on a, on something that they believe to be the truth, which actually isn't. So always go back to yourself because if you don't we end up here with the five of wands now the five of wands is about material difficulties about day-to-day -day stuff life not being very comfortable and this is what happens when we're deceived because um, a lot of people that deceive they do it either for their own advantage um, or they do it kind of to, to uh, maybe take your money away or or get you to follow them in some way to give them power. There, there's lots of reasons to deceive other people. And ultimately what happens is your life is the one that gets impacted. You are the one that ends up, you know, with the wrong end of the stick. You know, either you can lose money by de being deceived by con men. You can... You can, lose, you can lose property. There's all sorts of things, but also you can lose your mind, which is, a, which is the worst of things because then you impact everybody around you. It's all very well being conned out of, out of money or belongings, but when you're conned out of 
your feeling of um, justice, your feeling of love. Um, how many times have we heard in different war situations, neighbor turning on neighbors, parents handing in their children and the other way around because they've been deceived into um, a belief system. I mean, I personally, when I was at school, um, there was a, a girl that was in my form and it was at the time of the Moonies. And um, she and she she was a Mooney and she introduced her parents into the Moonies. And he was a gentleman farmer. And and um, so her parents signed all their property over to the Moonies. And she met somebody and fell in love and he wasn't a Mooney. He didn't want to become a Mooney. And so she came out of the Moonies and her parents never spoke to her again. This is what can happen when we get into cults, we can get into get into de deception. It ruins our lives, not the other people, but our lives and the people around us. So we have to be very, very careful. And in this, especially in this time, with all the social media and stuff like that going, you re we really, none of us know what to believe. So the best thing is to believe nothing, except what your, what your own heart tells you and to tune into yourself and then be open to changing your truth. Be flexible with it and not, not hold on to something. Um, and if you find yourself having to defend yourself about anything, then, then question what your, what your belief system is, that you're having to defend yourself um, about it. Um, either you're in with the wrong crowd, or well, I say wrong, but a, a crowd that has a certain ideology and they're trying to bully you into believing their way. Or maybe if you're around family and friends, maybe you're the one that's a bit off kilter. So, but instead it's, it's our individual lives that get disrupted by deception. If we can tune in to ourselves, then we get, I think it's a four, four of wands. And this is money and resources come our way. Things start running smoothly. We can soon, I say this generally, because, but we can soon find ourselves, when we're out of deception, when we are free of other people's opinions and we just re we open our ears, we listen, and then decide from a balanced state of mind if it's something that resonates with us or not, we, will, we soon know because our life gets simpler. We don't have the obstacles, we don't have the difficulties, we don't have the, the arguments within our families, we don't have a sense of having to be on the defense or having to, to shout to get your, your view across. Think, you, you'll find that as soon as you're coming from your own, your own individual truth, and each one of us got a different one, once we're coming from our own individual truth, then we will find that money and resources come our way. We're on the path. Our, our road becomes smoother. You know, we get the people that that are needed for our own education or they come into our lives because we have something to, to share with them. Whichever way it is, it's not important, but these people will come and then we will find we've got more, even more coming and our life, our life has become simpler. So if you are finding that your life is chaotic, if there's, there's arguments around you, if there's, there's, there's a feeling of um, restriction or rage or anger, go back and think, well, am I, am I the victim of deception? Because if my life is so chaotic, what do I believe, which is, is making it, what, what am I drawing to myself, which is creating this, this, this disruption in my life? As some, have I been deceived along the way? Am I thinking, am I on the right path? And if you are, and, and you, you go back into your internal, internal belief, knowledge, your, to, back to your source energy, and say, no, I know that I'm on the right path, then it must be I'm in the wrong company. There's different, but, but until we actually tune into ourselves, we don't really know. 
But when you are on the right path and you are your own, your own person, believe me, life goes much smoother. You get everything you need. You're in the flow. If you're not in the flow, check it out. See if you've been deceived or not. Those are the cards. Thank you very much. Let's, um, I'm going to ask everybody to please subscribe and comment and share and like all of that activity on these videos um, allows that algorithm to grow and reach out to more people. So we ask that you um, comment below. Yes, please. That'd be, that would be wonderful. We'd like to hear from you. <laughs> and until next time. Bye from me.